Hello, this is Steven, the calculator guy, and I'm going to go over how to repay your Rari Fuse loan. Uh, it's pretty simple. Here are all the steps, and three of them are optional. Uh, so really, there are only three steps. The first thing you need to do is, if you borrowed a stablecoin, uh, using your SOM as collateral, and you use that stablecoin to buy ohm and then stake that ohm. The first thing you need to do is either unstake that ohm and sell it for the amount that you borrowed, or somehow come up with the amount of that coin you borrowed. So, for example, if you borrowed in Rari uh, like 3,000 DAI or 3,000 USDC, you need to somehow come up with that 3,000 USDC or 3,000 DAI. Now, it may be the case that you unstake that much from your uh, ohm. Um, and then you convert that into that coin. Uh, I think that's what a lot of people do, but it's not what you have to do if you want to just, you need that coin. That's, that's the big thing. So once you have that coin, um, either through unstaking that amount or through just transferring it to your wallet or just because you already had it in your wallet, whatever it is, it could be from another passive income stream. Uh, what I did is I unstaked the amount that I needed to repay my loan. Then I swapped it on barn.cowswap because you get cheaper rates on barn.cowswap than you get on regular cowswap and definitely cheaper rates than MetaMask uh, and usually cheaper rates than Uniswap. Uh, so once you have the coin, it's really super straightforward and simple. You'll just click on the asset. You'll click on repay. You'll click on max. Then you will repay. So then you're done. You've repaid your loan. It's very, very simple. Uh, however, if you want to close your position in Ohm, there are a few more steps. First, you have to uncollateralize your S Ohm, um, or you know, withdraw. The way to do that is to click on your S Ohm, go over to withdraw, click max, then confirm. I have nothing here, so I'm going to get an error. Uh, once you do that, you know, you'll end up paying a bunch in fees. I mean, I think I paid when I did this. I think I paid roughly $580 in fees for this entire process from unstaking my ohm to swapping my ohm for DAI to uh, paying back my DAI loan to withdrawing my S ohm to then unstaking my ohm to then converting my ohm into USDC or whatever I did, uh, which is so many steps to close your position from a collateralized point of view. You know, ohm is doing fantastic. It's at 982 right now, going close to a thousand. Um, do I regret closing my position? Absolutely not, because I jumped into time and I jumped into grow, and I'm really happy with both of those uh, other protocols. However, also bullish on Ohm. I think what they're doing with bonding as a service is fantastic. Um, so congratulations to everyone who's still in Ohm. Congratulations to people who got into grow. Congratulations to those who are in time. And congratulations to those who are in the Abracadabra ecosystem uh, with time doing really well, spell doing really well. Um, Ice, I think, you know, they had that hiccup, but long term still bullish on that okay so let's just go through the steps one more time unstake this i guess this is technically optional because you don't need to unstake your own uh you just need to get the collateral you just need to get the borrowed asset so swap the borrowed asset for swap to the borrowed asset or get the borrowed asset uh then click repay then click max then repay Th this is this is really the crux of what you need to do. So I'm going to bold that. Um, on Rari, just make sure you're at the right pool. So if it's not working for you, maybe you're in the wrong pool. Uh, there are only two pools here, so it should be pretty simple. Um, actually, there are more pools, but you're probably in one of these two, right? So I was in Tetra nodes. You'll see your borrow balance there. Uh, click on your borrowed asset, pay it back. That's it. To close your position, there are a few other optional steps. But aside from that, it's really simple. Um, it is, to my knowledge, there is no, there's no time frame. Like as long as you repay your loan eventually and don't get liquidated, you can borrow indefinitely. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's what I've been told. And that, and there, ha I've seen no time frame anywhere here. Just understand the APY uh, is there and is also variable. So the longer you wait, the more you will have to pay back eventually, um, and the more risk you're absorbing because. Uh, you know, these are volatile assets and you're borrowing a stable coin against a volatile asset. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I will try to remember to um, append this in the uh, description just so you can see it. Some people prefer reading. Uh, and that's it.
So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.